It's the slogan on license plates throughout Washington, D.C. End taxation without representation. District of Columbia residents pay federal income taxes, but with only a non-voting delegate to the House of Representatives, they have no real vote in Congress. People see me on the House floor. Uh, they, uh, many Americans assume I have the same rights as their own representatives. But if they think about it, they won't see me on that final vote on the House floor. Washington, D.C.'s non-voting representative to Congress, Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton, first brought a bill to make D.C. its own state up for a vote in 1993. The bill is not passed. It failed, and she has introduced it every year since. This Friday, the bill will come up for a full House vote for the first time in nearly 20 years. I have virtually all the Democrats as co-sponsors. Not only will vote for the bill, but as co-sponsors. Republicans have long opposed D.C. statehood. One reason, the district's two senators and one representative are all but certain to be Democrats. Some legal experts say any such bill would be unconstitutional, and statehood could only be achieved by a constitutional amendment. My concern here is that if this is to be done, it be done in a constitutional way. The framers set it up this way for a particular reason. They did not want any single state to be overly influential on the federal government uh, for practical reasons. Democrats in Washington have long called for the district to become the 51st state, allowing the district's leadership more control over the city. The issue came to a head earlier this month when President Trump deployed federal police in response to protests over the death of George Floyd. The bill would leave all federal buildings and monuments out of the new state and under direct control of the federal government. All of the central federal enclave would continue to be part of the federal government, and that would be the seat of government as required by the Constitution. The statehood law is widely expected to pass the House with support from Democrats alone, and then to die in the Republican-held Senate. There's no other way to make the capital city equal unless you make it a state. Nathaniel Reed, Newsy, Washington.